Well, we've been long talked about Granny, the hitting coach. And here is Granny in the stands as Drury rips one foul. Granny, better known as Kay. How about that home run off of Alex Wood, knowing the history between your grandson and Alex Wood? Well, I love Carl's home run, but I'd have to give a shout out to Alex. They're such close friends, great friends. He's a great roommate at Georgia. We, we love Alex. But I, I told Carl, I said, let's knock him out of the park. <laughs> now, how much hitting advice? I know you got involved. You pointed out that Barry had given a tip to Kyle, and that has really turned around the season. So how much credit do you take, Granny? Well, I take credit that I, I read and I listen to everything. And I was sitting right there listening to Barry Larkin and what we said, and Kyle called me. Well, his daddy said, Kyle, you know, you ought to listen to Granny and, and, and give Larkin a, a shout out. And Kyle did. And Barry told him exactly what he was doing wrong. And it worked. I got to tell you, folks, we've been sitting up here and we've talked so much about Granny that Granny is now famous. How about these people wanting to take pictures with you up here? <laughs> well, that's because we talk over the TV doing all the ball games, and everybody probably knows I'm where I am. <laughs> I love my baseball. Love uh, you're, you're Kyle's biggest fan. How proud, in all seriousness, how proud are you? Of Kyle. Proud. And the reason why is Kyle's got stick to it. Is he, uh, he's just about one of the nicest guys I've ever known. Uh, you, you can ask Kyle, hey, Kyle, give me the scoop on certain ball player. He would not call out a ball player. I don't care if you gave him 10 beers. He wouldn't do it. You're not going to get anything out of him. How much do you love baseball? He says you don't miss a pitch and you know everything there is to know about baseball. Well, you know, Jim, I had a double A team in my hometown. And when I was five years old, I was the team mascot. Set in the dugout. And I was the little girl in the seventh inning that would go out and get the stub out of the barrel for whoever was going to win the car. So that's how far it's gone back. Well, Granny, what we're going to do is we're going to put a mic on you. And we're going to have an interview with you and Kyle after the game. That's coming up on an edition of Access Reds because you are a star in Reds country. I love it. And I want to say that Kyle loves Cincinnati. He loves it. And that soccer's look, he's looking up in the stands. He is actually looking up here as we <laughs> look, he was just looking. <laughs> I think he was looking like, oh my goodness, Jim has a mic with yeah, Granny. What are they doing for God's sakes? What are they doing? <laughs> no, I don't think he was worried about it at all. <laughs> There's no need to worry, Granny. It's all it's all good. And by the way, I love messaging you. It's the best part of my days. Well, you know, I told Rachel, I said, you know, I wanted to send something to Jim with pictures in it, and I've never had his phone number, never intended on calling him or doing anything. He sent it to me, and I said, that's just a neat little thing, but we don't, we don't abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Oh, uh, what a woman. Southern Belle, Granny. So glad we could bring Granny to the screen. And, and I'm not kidding you, John and Barry. People are asking for pictures of Granny. They're coming up to me. Is that Granny? Is that Kyle's Granny? I'm like, yep, that's the famous Granny. And here she is. John, thank you very much. Kyle's at the plate. Now, what do you expect on the first pitch here, Granny? First strike. He just took it. Now, usually he say he takes the first strike. Now, what does he tell you about that? He wants to see what the pitcher has. Well, he should know what Alex Wood has, correct? Uh, yeah, they were bad roommates. So there's some history here. Now, if you're Alex Wood, how are you approaching this at bat right here? Because he's already gone deep off of it. That I can't tell you. But I wish he'd do it one more time. Oh, there's a line drive into the facing of the Giants dugout. Now, how are you? I know that people know what the game's going on. Just don't bother Granny, right? 
Do not call me. They know the red schedule. Uh, they'll say, has the ball game started? And I'll say, yeah, well, we'll call you later. They just don't bother me. They know not to bother me. <laughs> now, what about the people that you're watching the game with when Kyle is at bat? How are you? What do you like? You mean? Yeah, what's your demeanor? Nervous, because I want him to get a hit. And I don't want him to do what he just did. He swung. <laughs> My demeanor, I guess I got, I'm saying a prayer for him the whole time he's at the plate. That he doesn't get hit, he gets a hit. There you go. Prayers do help. Prayers do work, Granny. We got a one and two count here, so he's behind in the count. And the pitch from Wood fouled again, so uh, pretty good battle. It. Yeah, he's going to straighten it out. He's going he's gonna to get a hit off of Alex right now. Now, how much do you... Does he share with you about when he's struggling hitting? Is it, does he shut down a little bit, or does he confide in you? He generally he he generally confides in me, but this last slump Kyle was in, he texts me one night, Granny, I am so sorry. Um, I, I know it hadn't been fun watching me play, and I couldn't get to my phone quick enough to text him back. Like, Kyle, what do you mean? You know, all ball players, we all go through slumps. Whatever your ball player, what? You'll get out of it. There's a line drive. There you go. See there? Oh. <laughs> Almost straightened it out for you, Granny. Almost straightened it out there for you. And I said, you got a beautiful wife, perfect baby, a family that loves you, all your fans. You'll get out of it. And then I, I sent him several biblical scriptures. His mother did. And uh, he, he, he always texts back and, and said how much I appreciate it. He did. Well, sometimes, you know, things are real. <laughs> and Granny's as real as it gets. Thank you for the visit once I again. It. We'll see some more of you. Oh, see, ab absolutely. see you tomorrow. And go down there and find your pie. <laughs> Supposedly, Kyle's mom made us a pie, pecan pie, so that's coming our way. That's Southern charm right there, John.